we just work. We take decisions and all of them somehow together will become bigger than the sum of the parts. Right? It's a whole. And they all will create a future. Uh, we work for the different companies, different teams and so on. I work for a huge company. Somehow we don't design the coherence of where that future should be. So I'm concerned with that. And this is because we don't understand the mechanics of the change that creates the future. That is exponential, unexpectedly converging to something we don't know. Nobody can predict the future. We can just see a spectrum. So that's concerning me a little bit. Yeah. Work for me is when we humans bring out the gifts we have into a higher value for ourselves and the community around us. Because we are all gifted with something. And when it creates a higher value than just when it sits inside me, for me and the community, then it's, then it's great work. Everything else is labor. It, it is actually the future. <laughs> because it's uh, simple as that. It's the most curious and strange thing you can observe, right? Or try to study and understand. Uh, it's always changing, it's always surprising and actually we, the, the, the nice thing with work is that we can somehow design the future instead of being just handed the future to us by someone else. So it's, it's, you can imagine it uh, and then make it and it's really, really tricky so it fascinates me, it drives me. I support this because it's, uh, you know, well, since, I don't know, we invented the, uh, the fire <laughs> and the wheel, uh, we started to work, or we've always worked. Hunters, gatherers, and so on. It's a part of our lives. We are purpose-driven, curiosity-driven. And when work is the most beautiful, it's about the curiosity and the, the drive or a purpose that we feel. This is what I want to do. That's work. So how can this not be important, you know? To start a conversation, um, we could decide something and go for it 20 years ago, fine. We could have a boss tell this is where we headed. That's bullshit today, right? It doesn't work. Um, the future is such a spectrum, um, even near future, even the next quarter. So when people read these stories, I hope they get inspired to not have answers, but start to asking the right questions, to have the right conversations. What the hell is the future of work? What is work? Is this really work? Am I, am I driving my purpose? Do I leverage my gifts, the gifts I, I have, I nurtured through my years? These questions are cool, you know, they, they, st they start the right conversations, that's what I want. Try to understand the change, track it, because if you don't, it becomes fear. We've seen it. Change, I mean, the world is spinning, right? Don't try to stop it. Don't make, try to make things great again, because that's also bullshit. Uh, you need to observe it, understand it, learn about it, and then get to work in design within that change as, as a inspiration, as your design brief, uh, as your backlog, whatever you work with, that change becomes your future design. And put it down, articulate it, tell it, make a movie, um, bring an interview, bring in a discussion, because only then you can build it, the future of work or future of you at work. So understand change, build your own future.